So welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into a case study on bringing Starlink service to a large property using just one satellite dish. But here's the twist. We are harnessing the power of fiber optic cables for seamless connectivity. So here's what happened to our customer. He has a property, spans 30 lush wooded acres, and holds 7 distinct outbuildings, and he wants to integrate Skylink service. And their goal is to streamline connectivity by utilizing a single satellite dish to service all 7 buildings efficiently. And in pursuit of a reliable and high-performance network, they are looking to implement a comprehensive solution involving fiber optic cables. However, currently lack the expertise to set up the system effectively. So the challenge lies in understanding how to seamlessly integrate Skylink service with fiber optic cable. So Starlink, our satellite internet constellation by SpaceX, is revolutionizing connectivity, particularly in scenarios involving multiple buildings. Its benefits extend beyond traditional internet solutions, offering reliable and high-speed connectivity even in remote or challenging environments. And as we delve into the importance of a robust internet connection, now the focus shifts to the deployment of the fiber optic cable setup. This advanced infrastructure promises enhanced connectivity, addressing the growing need for seamless communication across diverse buildings and locations. And the solution involves pulling fiber optic cables from building one to each of the connected buildings. And this approach ensures a direct and dedicated fiber connection between the central hub and the other buildings in the network. Fiber optic cables are known for their high bandwidth capabilities and making them ideal for transmitting large amount of data over long distances without signal degradation. So by establishing a point-to-point -point fiber optic connection, each building can benefit from reliable and high-speed data transfer. And this setup minimizes latency, enhances network performance, and the use of fiber optic cables also offer advantages such as immunity to electromagnetic interference and increased security due to the difficulty of tapping into optical signals. And a fiber optic network requires a few components. Like the fiber optic cable constructed with glass enable the transmission of light signal, providing high bandwidth and low signal loss over long distances. And connectors facilitate the secure linkage of these cables, ensuring a reliable connection. And transceivers, including components like lasers and photodetectors, convert electrical signal into optical signal for transmission. And together, this component form the backbone of a fiber optic network, offering high-speed data transfer. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. Behind me is the setup for today. It might look a little complicated, but no worry. I'm going to explain it along the way. So let's pretend this is our building one, which is the central hub. We're going to connect to building two, which is right here, and building three right here. So instead of connecting to seven buildings, today we only have three buildings. So let's do it together. First, I'm going to use a sharp edge cord to connect the router to our managed fiber switch. The router can provide data. And let's plug it into the switch. And here we can see multiple SFP slots. And we're going to plug in the SFP transceiver. This is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Since we're connecting to two buildings and two devices, so I'm going to plug in two SFP transceivers and plug in two fiber patch cord and connect them to our termination box. So you might wonder what's inside the fiber termination box. So now I'm going to open up the cover 
You can see we already have a four string fiber optic cable connected to the termination box. And you can connect to even more fiber optic cable as you need. And it provides a secure enclosure to protect the fiber optic cable. So we won't bend them. We can see A, B, C, and D. Each fiber optic cable string has the letter on it, so you won't mess it up. Coming out, we have a 300 meters fiber optic cable. Remember, we have four strings, so we are going to put two strings to building one and use the rest of the two string connected to building two. So let's do the first building. We are going to use string C and D. Remember, we use string A and string C in the termination box. So this time, we're going to use string C to connect with the device. And you can also plug in the string D for spare use. So string C connected to here. I'm going to use a fiber patch cord to connect with string C. This is just a simple coupler to join the fiber optic cable together. And you can just twist the cap. This is a waterproof coupler. So I'm just going to play it here first. Using the fiber patch cord to connect to the first device, doing the same thing, we need to put it in the SFP transceiver. This is a fiber media converter. We're going to use this to convert the electrical signal into fiber optic signal. So coming over here, we have an ethernet cable connected to a wireless access point. So this is our building one. Going back to our four string fiber optic cable, now we have string A and B available. I'm going to again plug it into a simple coupler. This is string A and string B. And remember, we have to match the string. So we are going to use string A. This is A for string A. Since each string has a letter on it, so you don't need to worry about plugging into the wrong fiber optic cable. So now it's done. I'm going to go all the way to building three. For building three, we have a two string fiber optic cable. Remember we have A and B. And I already plug it into the coupler and plug into string A using the fiber patch cord. We are going to do the same thing, plug it into the SFP transceiver and to the media converter. So now you can connect to another device as you need it. So the whole connection is done now. So in planning for future expansion and scalability of fiber optic network, reserving additional fiber optic cords is a prudent strategy. Instead of opting for a minimal configuration, consider selecting a higher string count, such as choosing a cable with 12 strings. And this proactive approach allows for scalability, ensuring that as the network demand grow, additional fibers can be ready to utilize without the need for extensive infrastructure upgrades. And by incorporating extra strength during the installation setup, the network is well prepared to adapt to evolving requirements, providing a flexible and future-proof foundation for expansion. So in conclusion, utilizing fiber optic cables for stalling connectivity across multiple buildings offer numerous advantages, including enhanced speed, reliability, and future scalability. So today's video emphasized the robust foundation that fiber optic provide and ensuring optimal data transfer 
and network performance. And if you have any question with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. You can send us the question or you can just draw some sketches and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you very much for joining us today and I'll see you in the next video.